Yeah. As you see on the pool, this way I kind of already started on it. But this whole. So, you see? You see all the green? All the green on the pool that way? All that needs to go. Got a whole bunch of time to work on that, so it should be a lot of fun. Got these here long tools to make it real nice. The hardest stuff is this stuff right here. Because you see all the gravel, all the gravel, it's a whole bunch of gravel and I literally, I literally need to take it out with a flathead shovel, which I've been doing over here, but it's going to be a lot of work. <sighs> and an update on not that one, but that one, uh, we kind of went ahead and, and let him go. He just keeps coming back. And I'm growing beans, one in fertilizer and one in dirt. Go ahead and show and and show you what I have to do to get rid of all the green because it's like a two-step process. First I have to scrape the ground with this thing, then I have to rake it away with this thing. Oh, I wish the actual work was that easy, but then again, I'm kind of doing it for fun, so whatever. Really like so much work to do, because it's not just over there. It's like obviously like on that side and also on that side. But don't ask me why, there's like a, a freaking mattress in here. I honestly don't know what was going on in there, but I uh, really don't want to know. Now you may say, Paul, don't lie to us. No one does that kind of work for fun, but honestly, I do. You see, I'm a kinesthetic learner, which means I learn by touching and feeling the thing. So I like to be really hands-on with things. It almost feels like some sort of like, type of meditation for me. I almost said I don't know what really ployed me to come out here and show you guys this, but then I realized that's, uh, Kind of what my YouTube channel is, is to show you who I am. Yeah, I guess I'll go ahead and update you guys in a couple weeks about the beans and the land. <sighs> Goodbye.